banks are increasingly aware of the fundamental role they play in societies and the lives of their customers. There's now widespread recognition that global transaction banking businesses are key to reducing social inequalities and ensuring an adequate share of economic growth. The pandemic has fueled digital acceleration, further empowering those organisations that align themselves with the causes of sustainability and greater inclusion to pursue their goals. Well, to explore this in more detail, I'm delighted to say that we're joined by Alexandre Memord, who's the head of global transaction and payment services at Société Générale. Alexandre, thank you so much for joining us here on Cybos TV. What do you see as the main challenges facing global transaction banking activities? So, good afternoon, Julien and Juliette. I'm very happy to speak to you uh, today to respond to your uh, questions. Two major trends are disrupting the banking environment. These are not new trends, but they have been dramatically accelerated by the COVID crisis. First, digitalization, of course. All payment players, I mean banks, corporate individuals, want to access their funds and execute transactions 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. They have also increased their request in terms of instantaneity, transparency, and security. Our, our global clients want also, uh, through digital, to consume our services as one bank, wherever we serve them within the group. And for large bank, as Société Générale, it is a challenge. The second trend is CSR, of course. All over the world, citizens are pushing harder and harder for a more sustainable growth, which preserves the environment and reduces social dislocation. In accompanying their clients in their strategy towards sustainable growth, banks have a key role to play in the push for greener and more equal growth in the future. You mentioned uh, corporate social responsibility there, CSR. To what extent is it changing the market and, uh, and how do you adapt as a bank? Uh, CSR is definitely for a bank uh, multi-dimensions. Let's begin by environment issues. Société Générale uh, has developed for years a strategy and dedicated expertise to support its clients in their energy transition. We have also taken clear decisions, such as uh, to stop the financing of coal in developed countries by 2030. Société Générale uh, is also committed to raise more than 120 billion euros in the energy transition by 2023, and we will probably do more. As an example, in trade finance, we develop green guarantee business. Allow me to give you two recent examples. We have recently structured a green guarantee facility for Elecnor, which the Spanish group can use for eligible green projects that benefit to the environment and are socially responsible. Another example could be Enel, for instance. We have signed the first sustainability-linked guarantee agreement with this major global private player in the renewable energy sector. But CSR is not only green business. It excludes, it includes, for instance, diversity. Promoting diversity means building management teams with a mixed of experiences, a mix of cultures, a mix of vision, a mix of mindset, in order to better understand the evolution of our business, to take better decisions, and thus to perform better. CSR includes also uh, financial inclusion. Banks play a major role in financing SMEs, and we play through our financing capabilities, a traditional absorber of economic crisis. For instance, during this crisis, 
SG participated in France in the state guarantee plan, equity loans, and reverse factoring program to preserve the French economy. It represents 16 billion euros in 2020. Last example of CSR issue, what Société Générale is doing for Africa? You know that Société Générale is one of the most African international banking groups, and I'm proud to be part of Société Générale Ambition for Africa. Being in that continent, we contribute to the development of Africa and thus to a more balanced and more sustainable world development. And, Alexandre, within that answer, we've, we've got a sense of, of the scale of CSI, how it's evolved, the definition. But at the same time, you can't avoid talking about digitization as well. So can you give us examples of what Société Générale is doing in terms of innovation? Because so much is happening. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're totally right, uh, Juliette. Dig digitalization, you know, the rise of new information and communication technologies have turned the world into a village with a growing demand for banks to make international payments quicker and smoother. Of course, there are also for the banks many advantages to digitalization, automation, less manual tasks, less processing time, meaning more time to focus on value-added tasks and therefore more time dedicated to client relationships. But it also increases our client's request and it poses us different initiatives at the level of each bank, but also at the level of the banking community. SG is fully part of different interbank initiatives. SWIFT GPI, which offers shorter payment times and more transparency. SWIFT Go, which provides consumers and SMEs with a frictionless and cheaper service for small cross-border payments. Another example is the EX, IXB, International Cross-Border Initiative, that speeds up and enhances cross-border payments in which we are committed. Allow me, finally, to mention the strong commitment of Société Générale for the development of multi-bank solutions through SWIFT in particular for KYC and embargo sanction alerts. Digitalization means also a better use of data. As cash managers and covering the short-term financing needs of our clients, we have an enormous amount of data on our clients. We have been implemented in Société Générale an ambition data roadmap for over one year. Through AI and machine learning, in full respect of the privacy and confidentiality of data, we are building predictive models to better advise our clients and to improve our risk framework. Data definitely allows us also to respond better to challenges implied by digitalization, fighting fraud, cybersecurity, real time, transparency. And it's very important if we want to keep this role as a, as a uh, if we want to keep the confidence of our clients that we better use data to better secure the payments and flows that we are managing for our clients. Well, fascinating insights there. Thank you so much for your time this afternoon on Cybos TV. Alexandra Maymar, Head of Global Transaction and Payment Services at Societe Generale. I might say what a fantastic pair of glasses as well. Very stylish indeed.